everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am telling you 10 things that you can expect from my debut novel, Brightly Burning, which is Jane Eyre set in space. It's coming out May 1st, 2018 from HMH Teen. So the first thing you can expect from Brightly Burning is a slow burn romance. So of course it's based on Jane Eyre, and if you have read Jan Jane Eyre, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, essentially, you know, it's all about you know, secret glances and like hand touches and like confusion about feelings. Those are my favorite types of romance. So if you like having the feels, there's gonna be some feels. The second thing to expect from Brightly Burning is a headstrong girl who is not afraid to speak her mind. My main character, Stella Ainsley, you know, she's kind of silent but deadly. No, not really. No, she's definitely, you know, she thinks a lot. She has a lot going on in her head and she doesn't say everything that she is thinking, but when she opens her mouth to speak, she stands her ground, stands up for herself, stands up for others. And that's because I believe you don't have to be a typical strong female heroine to be strong AF. The third thing to expect from Brightly Burning is lots and lots of bookish and pop culture Easter eggs. So Brightly Burning is set 200 years in the future after a disaster and the dregs of humanity are circling the earth and I am all about media and culture. I mean, I love books and so, so do my characters. So there's lots of little references to the books that people are reading and also to movies that they are watching. Many of them aren't mentioned by name, but it's kind of fun. You can kind of go on like a little hunt to figure out what books and movies people are talking about. The fourth thing is a sassy AI. I love artificial intelligence and robots and the idea of like uh, uh, artificial intelligence running a ship. Can you tell? I love the movie WALL-E. And so my book features a, you know, kind of fun, friendly, sassy AI. And I mean, that's a good thing because if you've seen WALL-E, you know that giving an AI too much control is not a good thing. The fifth thing to expect in Brightly Burning is a frozen earth that may or may not be habitable. So the crazy disaster that happened that sent everyone into space was a super volcano. And you know, go ahead and Google that one. Um, it'd be real bad if a super volcano exploded, guys. And so there's this looming, you know, problem that the earth is still super frozen, but the spaceships are all falling apart. So will they land on earth? Will Earth be habitable? You'll have to read to find out. The sixth thing to expect in Brightly Burning is the teeny tiniest love triangle. Not a traditional love triangle. Do not worry, I haven't changed Jane Eyre that much. But there's definitely some additional romantic complications in Brightly Burning. So if you do like love triangles, there's definitely a little bit of extra shipping going on. The seventh thing you can expect in Brightly Burning is a tense and very swoony game of hide and go seek in the dark. Just imagine the possibilities. And the eighth thing is a very intense game of poker. The ninth thing to expect is cats. Fluffy, fluffy cats in space. That's right. I was inspired by my fluffy Maine Coon cats, and so there are cats in space in Brightly Burning, just for fun. And last but certainly not least, the tenth thing you can expect from Brightly Burning is lots of twists and turns and surprises that are not in the original Jane Eyre. Now, if you're a fan of Jane Eyre, trust me, there's still going to be plenty to recognize and love, but there are, you know, just a lot of additional bits of intrigue and mysteries to keep it a bit fresh and exciting. And if you've never read Jane Eyre, get ready, it's a bit of a ride. So that's it, 10 things you can look forward to seeing in my debut, Brightly Burning, Jane Eyre in Space, lots of romance, lots of intrigue. It's, it's a bit funny, I mean, sassy AI is right, but there's mysteries and conspiracies and a lot going on and cats, cats in space because why not? So you can pick up Brightly Burning May 1st, 2018, wherever books are sold. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe I will make another one with some more cool fast facts about Brightly Burning. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I post lots of videos about not only this book and my writing process, but about YA and books and the industry. And I also have very, very strong feelings about things like the different Jane Eyre adaptations. And I post new videos two to three times a week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And as ever, happy reading.